The extension of the digits rely on a complex meshwork of tendons. This group of structures are collectively known as the extensor expansion. The first component originates from the tendon of the extensor digitorum muscle, which runs along the dorsal surface of the digit. Just before it reaches the MCPJ, the tendon joins a flat structure known as the extensor hood. It then continues distally past the extensor hood as the central slip, inserting at the base of the middle phalanges. Each side of the extensor hood is conjoined with the tendons of the interossier muscle, as well as the tendon of the lumbricals as well. At the distal end of the extensor hood, two parallel tendons called the lateral bands emerge which join together as the terminal slip to insert at the base of the distal phalanges. When tension is exerted onto the extensor hood, it will lead to the extension of the metacarpal phalangeal joint. When tension is exerted onto the central slip, it will lead to the extension of the proximal interphalangeal joint. When tension is exerted onto the terminal slip, it will lead to the extension of the distal interphalangeal joint. A butonia deformity results from a loss of the extensor mechanism from the central slip. Initially, there will be a flexion deformity of the proximal interphalangeal joint, but since the balance of the finger extensor mechanism is altered, over time it can lead to the fixed volar subluxation of the lateral bands. As the lateral bands are now volar relative to the proximal interphalangeal joint, not only will it lead to a greater flexion force on the proximal interphalangeal joint, it will also lead to a hyperextension of the distal interphalangeal joint. This, if left untreated, will lead to a fixed flexion contracture of the proximal interphalangeal joint.